Tonight, the reaction to a sweeping piece of legislation to tackle D.C.'s crime crisis. After months of debate, the council passed the Secure D.C. Crime Bill. Fox 5's Nana St. Ubonsu is outside the Wilson Building tonight with more on that vote and what it means moving forward. Nana? Guys, good evening. The Secure D.C. Crime Bill passed unanimously 12 to 0 with Council Member Trayon White voting present. Now, this legislation, it includes over 100 different measures from changes to gun violence, penalties addressing organized retail theft, expanding the definition of a carjacking and drug-free zones. A number of the amendments were made to the bill today, including the expansion of DNA collection. In this bill, DNA will now be collected Collected from suspects who are involved and charged in dangerous crimes but not yet convicted. U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia Matthew Graves says he applauds the DNA measure in that it, quote, will both help solve violent crimes and prevent future crimes. A number of residents tell Fox 5 that this passage is a step in the right direction, while others are disappointed. I'm feeling cautiously optimistic that the passage of Secure DC will steer the city in the right direction and crime incrementally will go down. My neighbors and I are afraid to go out alone at night after dark and walk our dogs and pump gas. And I think it had re reached sort of critical point to make a real, real statement and, and make some, you know, pass some laws that would, would enact change. I'm happy with a lot of the amendments that were made today. Um, I'm just not happy that young people who this bill could unfortunately impact, right, were not involved in this conversation. We believe that this. Yeah. And now, the reason why Councilmember Trayon White didn't take part in the final vote today is because it doesn't touch all aspects like mental health and job training. But Councilmember Brooke Pinsel says the bill will address a number of these concerns. All of these interventions taken as a whole are going to make a very meaningful impact on driving down the crime and violence we're seeing in the city. And the work, of course, is not over. We have additional focus we need to get our kids into school. I believe we have to do a better job of providing paid opportunities for our young people, um, supporting our families when they are in crisis, um, and making sure that we are stabilizing the economy uh, for so many of our families in need across the district. Now, Mayor Mayor Bowser supports the bill in a statement calling it a critical step in the work to build a safer D.C. Now, we're told as soon as the mayor signs this legislation, the Secure Safe D.C. will be implemented immediately. Guys.